Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I just wanted to share with you guys my little uh, skull candle holders that I'm making. I'm going to put these out on my fireplace out in the living room for Halloween. And I got these, two of these cute little, well I don't know if they're cute, but I got these skulls at the Dollar Tree. They're really light, so it works really good for this project. And I picked up two of um, the candlestick holders, and I spray painted them with some Rust-Oleum uh, satin finish, which works really well on glass. It doesn't scratch off, or it just holds really good. So I put about three coats of Rust-Oleum on here, and also these little um, candle holders that I got at the Dollar Tree. I think these were red. I also spray painted those black, and I'm going to use two of those. <coughs> So first I'm just going to take my little candlestick here and I'm going to put a whole bunch of hot glue on here, big globs of it. This guy's really light so um, it holds it really well. He won't fall off of here. Alright, so we're just going to take him and stick that right on there like this. And I also got two of these little um, flameless candles in black in the Halloween section. It was a two-pack at the Dollar Tree. And I really wanted to make these into candle holes, but I could not for the life of me think of how I was going to get this to be able to take on and off to, um, you know, to turn it on and off. So what I came up with was Velcro. So I just took two little pieces of Velcro. I'm just going to hot glue one side of it on the top of his head right here Let me move this up just a little bit there we go just put one little piece of hot glue there and then I'm going to hot glue the other piece little piece right on the bottom of the candle That way, I can just turn it on and off. I'll let that dry for a second. And then I took, I got this um, diamond wrap at the Dollar Tree in the Halloween section. I thought it was really cute. I have it, do I have it taped now? And it just has little purple bats on it. So what I did was, I cut, um, this one's for the votive candle holder. I cut the top and the bottom piece off just so I have a little strip like this and I'm just going to glue that to my um, candle. And I guess on this one, if I do make a mess with glue webs like usual, it'll be okay because it's Halloween. And a few little webs will be just fine. So I'm just going to finish gluing that on here. I got lots of glue webs. All right. And then he will just sit right there nicely on top of his head. And now for this little votive candle, I'm just going to take um, a whole piece of the bat diamond wrap and I'm just going to glue that around the edge, just the top edge because they don't sit real well because of the bats. It doesn't really go around in a circle too good. So I'm just going to glue the top on. <coughs> Boy, I'd make a mess with the glue webs. I don't know what I did here. Alright. I 
and that's it for the votive candle. And then I took, I got a bunch of the purple and black roses, and I popped it off, and I just glued a little eyeball inside of it, and a little plastic spider that I got with a bag of spiders and bugs at the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to set them right inside my little votive holder, and then they're going to be next to this little guy. Well, actually, I don't know if I'm going to keep them right next to this guy, because I made two, so we'll see. But if I made two of these, and if you're only going to use one of these, then I think that would be really cute to put one on each side. So let me move this stuff around here, and I'll light these guys up, and you can see how he came out. All right, there they are. I turned the lights on. I hope you can see these okay. I want you to be able to see the candles when they're lit. But that's what they look like when they're all done. And... I don't know if I'm going to use the little eyeball guys. I guess that would be cute if you were just, you know, like using one. And you could put one on each side. That would look really cute too. So yeah, just a quick simple little project. I wanted to figure out something. You know, it was a little bit taller to put on my mantle in my fireplace, and I think he will look just lovely there for the Halloween season. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day.